Hello and welcome to the UK Film Review Podcast. I am your host this week, Chris Buick, and today I am joined by fellow UK Film Review critic, Amber. Hello, Amber. Hello, Chris. How's it going? I- I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Good, good. So today we are here for a special episode of the podcast, which is dedicated to the UK Film Review Festival that recently took place. Um, there are a lot of great films involved from a lot of very talented filmmakers across all the genres. Um, however, Amber, you and I are here to talk about the brilliant documentaries that were yeah. on the weekend, aren't we? Absolutely, yeah. No, all of them are so different, but so good in, in so many different ways. So I'm excited to talk about them. So we're now going to talk about The United States of Eli Tahari, um, directed by David Serrero. Uh, so Eli Tahari, for those who don't know, um, is an Israeli fashion designer who came to New York um, decades ago with nothing but $100 in his pocket and has now become one of the biggest names in fashion. Uh, so this film tells the story of uh, from his childhood all the way up to so when he was in um, a refugee camp with his family, spent time, grew up in several orphanages, joined the Air Force at one point. And it's really an interesting journey of how he came from there all the way up to being one of the biggest names in fashion. Mm-hmm. Um, but And I really enjoyed this documentary. Before, in terms of the actual documentary itself, it's very well done and put together and really interesting. But what really struck me is how considering his status now, how humble uh, Ellie is and how modest he is about where he's come from and how just sort of down to earth he seems. Um, I find that, because um, he, he's, he's a huge name in fashion industry and we see all these people talking uh, about him from models and massive figures in the fashion industry and all kinds of celebrities all singing his praises. and. Yeah, however, when you're when it's at the parts where it's just him talking, you I just couldn't help but be <laughs> charmed, I guess is the yeah. word by him. <laughs> um I was just at, and like this film has as has many um st- ha- it changes up its style, it flits between the past and the present. It does things from behind the scenes at photo shoots to um you know, interviews with the, the quote-unquote talking heads, with the celebrities and the icons, etc. But I honestly would have been happy if they just sat early on that couch and talked to him for two hours and I just listened to him talk. That would have been, that'd have been <laughs> fine for me. So um, what did you think? I agree with you. I think he is a very charming man, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he, like, he comes across as really, really approachable and you could just... If, I, if he did a TED Talk, I mean, he might have done a TED Talk, but if he did a TED Talk, I would devour that i think yeah yeah. (laughs) he's he speaks so well and um yeah it's it's no wonder that he is a success um with his fashion brand um i think what what you were saying about how humble he is as well really translated for me too um and i think it will for any viewer um i just love how throughout the whole documentary the importance of family remains so consistent Mm, in his mm -hmm. life and I mean it does ultimately shape his career and you really do see that even towards the end when he's when uh, we get to see one of his fashion shows and his daughter is there um, and she's like oh well done you know I'm so proud of you that was amazing Um, and it it, it was just really really nice to see um, this that's that sort of personal side of a big brand name yeah um like tahari um and i i love that that carries through from when he came mm. to america um with not very much and he wanted to do well for himself so he could provide for his family yeah um and then he talks about how you know that is the american dream and i loved that um yeah. i really really like this documentary i think um I love that kind of him share. I mean, it was kind of similar to the one we just talked about with Dean Thomas in a sense that Elie Tahari is kind of sharing his life lessons um, and whilst retelling his success story. um, And it is that kind of having the confidence to follow your dreams. That is a really positive message. Exactly. I agree. And not, you know, not taking no for an answer and always, you know, striving to do what, be proactive, do whatever it takes, you know, take initiative. And he goes from 
obviously he's talking about his his childhood and he's now you know he's he's meeting and dressing presidential candidates and things like that mm. you know he's um but i love it though <laughs> yeah it's great and but the the thing about his family you're absolutely right that's what because i'm just gonna this might surprise no one i know nothing about fashion <laughs> absolutely nothing and um, so it's kind of similar to the bane documentary holding these moments we're talking about um when you go in thinking i don't know about this or that you go into yeah. something maybe you think this isn't going to be for me like i say i know nothing about fashion so but you know the way it Ellie tells his story and the way the film tells his story for him as well in, in some respects really doesn't matter that you don't yeah. know about fashion. It's not about that. It's about, like you say, and I, I wrote this down as well, uh, the American dream yeah. come real um, as people believe it to be. And he is he has done that, but but never compromising his values in terms of family and also his consumers because he always he's always and he says this a yeah. lot in the film about how the people what the people want is important to me if people are happy i'm happy he's not about the money he's not about the fame he doesn't care whether he's on a magazine or not he just wants yeah. people to feel good in the clothes they wear because he yeah, makes clothes um, for- yeah no i was gonna sorry no it's all right <laughs> i love that i was, i really agree with you because it when he's when there's other people talking in the documentary as well like big big names in fashion um and other women as well they were saying he really really understands women through the clothes that he makes and mm-hmm. i thought that was really interesting that the you know women were saying that um that he just he does he makes clothes for them to feel yeah. good and that i just in fashion and especially like western fashion i love that i, just, I mean yeah. i don't know anything about fashion but i just love that he creates in mind to make someone feel good in what they're wearing because you've got you've got to feel good in what you're wearing absolutely so. <laughs> i mean i i i as my wife will attest i have little care for what i'm wearing and she <laughs> may roll her eyes however i yeah it's um i agree and he makes clothes for both ends of the spectrum so it's not just yeah. the, the glamorous stick thin models that you know we all we often see in these things but for um and a lot of it especially a, a lot of focus on the working women and you know yes. the, the everyday clothes that they wear and you know that's what he's saying he's he's not trying to make a name for, he's not trying to make a name for himself he just has because yeah. of because he like you said he's understood what they want and what they need rather Absolutely. than coming up with these crazy outfits you sometimes see at these things so yeah, yeah i but really yeah, this is this is what we were saying about what makes a good documentary is that we neither of us know anything about fashion and yet we've watched this and we're so inspired by yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, I I really enjoyed it. I I yeah. like I I think um, David Serrano made a, made a lot of great choices here and yeah. keeps it really fresh. And yeah, I I really think it was it was really good. Mm-hmm.